Good morning, and welcome to St. Anthony's Cathedral Basilica in Beaumont, Texas, on this Palm Sunday, the first day of Holy Week. Please join me in praying the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray for an increase in hope, faith, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. The fruit of the mystery is sorrow for sin. And going a little further, Jesus fell on his face and prayed, My Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us pause to meditate on the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging. The fruit of the mystery is purity. Then Pilate released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, 
save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in need of mercy. Let us pause to meditate on the second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. The fruit of the mystery is moral courage. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him and plaiting a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us pause to meditate on the third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. The fruit of the mystery is patience. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. They came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us pause to meditate on the fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. The fruit of the mystery is perseverance. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks were split. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us pause to meditate on the fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Palm Sunday.
Good morning. With our universal church, we enter with Christ into Holy Week, where he will suffer, die, and rise from the dead for our salvation. When you arrived this morning, you received an Easter flower remembrance envelope to prayerfully remember your living and deceased loved ones at our altar throughout the Easter season. Please place your envelope in the collection basket at the baptismal font to help provide Holy Week and Easter season flowers and musical enhancements. As we prepare for today's celebration, kindly turn towards our main doors as we begin our celebration with the blessing of our palms. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. We enter now into the Holy of Holy Weeks when Christ humbled himself, taking on the form of a slave and being born in the likeness of you and me and then suffering an ignominious death only to rise on the third day so that we could be saved and we could enter into eternal life. My dear sisters and brothers, since the beginning of Lent until now, we are preparing our hearts by deeper prayer, penance, and charitable works. Today, we gather together to herald with the whole church, the universal church throughout the world, the beginning of the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, his passion and resurrection on the third day. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered into his own city, Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city of our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of his cross, we may also have a share in his resurrection and eternal life. Holy may I have your blessing. 
May the word of the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim the good news, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately on entering it, you will find a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone should say to you, Why are you doing this? Reply, the master has need of it, and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found the colt tethered at a gate outside on the street, and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing, untying the colt? They answered them, just as Jesus had told them to, and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put their cloaks over it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him, as well as those following, kept crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Osana in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaimed Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ our Please hold your palms up so that they may be blessed. Let us pray.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, as an example of humility, for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back, I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord.
A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found formed human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison, along with rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews. For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with this man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, 
Release Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. And they began to salute him with, Hail, Hail King of the, the Jews. Jews, and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting on him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember. by Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to a place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, Aha. You, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes mocked him, among themselves, and said, He, he saved, saved others. He, he cannot save, save himself. himself. Let, Let the Christ, Christ the, the King of Israel, Israel come, come down, down from, from the cross, cross that, that we may see and believe. Jesus, with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling for Elijah. One of them ran, 
soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he had breathed his last, he said, Truly, this was the Son of God. of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Good morning. Good morning. It's a uh, privilege to be able to, uh, to be with you, but it's a blessing to me to be able to have you uh, with me or with us. Um, a year ago, if you remember, uh, a year ago we were completely shut down and we were only recording the masses here in the cathedral and so it's a privilege, it's a blessing to be able to come together uh, in person, uh, those of you who are here in person and in a special way we'd like to welcome those of you who are joining us uh, virtually. Uh, you are our brothers and sisters in Christ and we are all united in, in prayer whether in person or uh, virtually. And um, if you were with us Last Sunday, uh, you may remember that uh, that it was a little bit, uh, uh, I should say, there were less people up here. Um, and so today we have a backup. Um, we had Mons Monsignor, uh, Mons Monsignor Collada with us. We're good to have you here, Monsignor. And, and it's always a blessing to have our pastor, Monsignor Jerry, uh, with us. And of course, um, our deacon candidate, um, uh, Bill Geyer. So, so, what else can we say about these readings? I was telling my senior Jerry the passion is the homily. But I'd like to reflect a little bit on what it, uh, what it means to me, you know, because today marks the beginning of Holy Week. As Jesus entered into Jerusalem, 
And the amazing thing and the most, one of the most touching things about him entering into Jerusalem is that he knew that when he was going to enter, that what was going to happen, that he was going to suffer and that he was going to die. But why did he do it then? The second reading tells us that Jesus was obedient to God the Father. He was obedient to him even until death on the cross. So he was obedient to God the Father. That's why he continued to do it. But there's another reason. Jesus was not thinking of himself. He knew that he was going to suffer, that he knew that he was going to uh, die on the cross. I mean, it's an, as I read that, that, that gospel, think about how much he suffered from the time that he was in the garden suffering because he knew what was to come, being arrested, being betrayed, being denied, beaten, spit, spitting on him, the crown of thorns, being abandoned by the people that he was close to. And then he was crucified at, at 9 o'clock in the morning. From 9 o'clock in the morning all the way to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, he was on that cross suffering. But he wasn't thinking of himself. He was thinking of us. And then to think about how, how we hear about that people did not believe that he, that he is the Son of God. People, said, people were, that were passing by said, if he can get himself down from that cross, then we will believe. Think about the people who abandoned him, who left, left him there on the cross by himself. He still continues to think of us. Even though we betray him, we abandon him, we deny him, we do not believe in him at times. He continues to think of us. And so what he does as he enters into this Holy Week, he invites us to follow in his footsteps, to journey with him, to stay with him. Not so that we can comfort him, not so that we can change him, because we can't. He's still thinking of us. He wants us to follow him, to, to stay with him because he's still thinking of us. It is everything that Jesus has gone through, everything that he does, every little thing has a purpose. And his focus, his main purpose is for us, for our benefit. If, if we think, read about, read in, in scriptures the encounters that people had with Jesus and how after, when they were, they were, they, they had that encounter with Jesus, when they stayed with him, when, when they were his, in his presence, how he performed miracles, how he transformed them. That's what he, that's why he wants us to journey with him. That's why he wants us to stay with him and, and, to, and to be there as he goes through this holy week for us. 
The centurion in this gospel today just stands out to me. He was probably one of those who didn't believe in him, that he was the son of God. But he was the guard. He was there guarding with some other people. He was guarding those who were crucified, including Jesus. Because he was there in, this, in, the, in the presence of Jesus, he saw everything that Jesus went through. He saw everything that took place. And his presence there transformed him. And he said, truly, this was the Son of God. So Jesus calls us to journey with him this holy week because he wants us to, trans he wants to transform us. And what he does is that, that when we are in his presence, we come as we are, broken, sinful, However we are, we come before Jesus. And there, in his presence, he wants to give us whatever it is that we're seeking, whatever it is that we need, some things that we don't even realize that we need, he wants to give us that. He wants to give us peace. He wants to give us strength. He wants to give us joy. He wants to give us humility. To recognize that we are sinful and that He still loves us. And more than anything, he wants us to know that we are loved. He wants to give us his mercy. So we come to him this Holy Week with hum humility, knowing that we are sinners, and to stand at the foot of the cross with Jesus, like the centurion. And just be there. Don't have to say a thing. Just be there and thank Almighty God for suffering and for dying for us. And just receive what it is that God wants to give to you this Holy Week. So that at the, uh, on Sunday, when we celebrate the resurrection, we can have that joy and just like the centurion, we can all say, truly, this is the Son of God. Amen? Amen. with our ancestors throughout the ages and our universal church today, let us profess our faith in song.
Continue our prayer to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop Toops, Bishop Guillory, our universal church, our elect and candidates, as we prayerfully journey together through this holy week and the sacred triduum, we pray for marriages and families. We pray for all our, our needs as we stand at the foot of the cross. For this we pray to the Lord. For the peace and salvation of our world, the wisdom of our world's leaders, the unity of Christians, and for the salvation of all God's people. We pray to the Lord. For inactive Catholics, for non Catholics, that they may draw closer to God's love through our Catholic faith. We pray to the Lord. victims of the coronavirus, scientists and researchers, healthcare professionals, the elderly, poor, powerless, victims of abuse, and unemployed, we pray to the Lord. For the reverence and defense of all human life, religious liberty, refugees, immigrants, the marginalized and displaced people of our world, we pray to the Lord. For the dying, our beloved dead, especially Marcia. We pray for deceased victims of the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for the comfort of all who grieve and for our silent intentions. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear our prayers. Comfort those who have been affected by the tornadoes. Care for the children at the borders. Through your crucified and risen Son, save us in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
my sisters and my brothers in baptism, that the offering we bring to this holy altar might become the sacrifice which is acceptable to Almighty God. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be bared near at hand so that through and though what we do do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, who for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the power of your Holy Spirit, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. into his hands, and confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet to graciously endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all peoples. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Curtis our David our Bishop, Curtis, our retired bishop, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, especially St. Anthony, with our brothers and sisters, and all those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. We believe the most blessed sacrament of the altar the of is the true Amen. and full presence of Jesus Christ, Amen. his body, blood, soul, and the divinity. As Catholics who are in the state of grace come to Holy Communion, those of the other faiths of are also invited to approach the, the altar with Amen. hands Take over their hearts and pray the with the priest for the unity of all God's people. The body of Christ.
body of Christ. We remember the truth was told. The body of Christ. Love passed on through heart and word. Every person lost and broken wears the body of the body of Christ. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. 
nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Our Holy Week schedule is in today's bulletin. Please plan to participate in all of our solemn Holy Week, Sacred Tritum, and Easter celebrations. Good Friday is a day of fast and abstinence. Catholic, eight, Catholics 18 years of age through their 59th birthday are obligated to fast and all 14 years and older are obligated to abstain from meat. Please wear red on Good Friday and white on Holy Thursdays and Easter. <clears throat> Kindly bring your Lenten rice bowls for the poor to our Holy Thursday 7 p.m. Mass. Please pray for and send an Easter card of encouragement to our elect and candidates who become Catholics at our Easter vigil. Their names are in today's bulletin. Kindly place your cards in any of our collections or bring them to the office this week. Directly after Mass, our school has Good Friday fish fry tickets available for a $9 donation. Thank you for supporting our school. Before leaving, kindly tidy up your pew for the next Mass. The Lord be with you. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on your family, from whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the Holy Mother of God, together with all the saints, especially our patron, St. Anthony, may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, a holy week. Keep safe. Keep healthy, and I urge you to participate in as many of the Holy Week uh, sacred, solemn services that we, we will celebrate here in the Cathedral Basilica, and also to each day take a, a little time to go for a little walk by yourselves, just you and God, and Listen to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord and tell him what you need, but more importantly, listen to what the Lord has to say to you.